People think I just make these faces for fun. Little do they realize, I'm really questioning my life. I'm going to pretend to look happy so they think I'm enjoying it. Then I'm realizing, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Look at myself and question myself even further. I really don't know. What is my life coming to? Well, let's pretend to look happy and, uh, f*** this. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we are taking on what is undoubtedly the world's biggest, largest, or at least the craziest, we'll say Twinkie, pound cake, cream filled item that I have ever had in my life. That's right. We're talking almost 10,000 calories, over 1,600 carbohydrates, and a four foot long piece of delicious looking pound cake filled with cream, and in this case, strawberry cream filling-ish as well. Absolutely insane. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is just what you gotta do. So that everybody, let's go take on the world's biggest Twinkie pound cake filled, creamy, delicious looking dessert. Let's get to it, and uh, this is gonna be one for memory. All right, everyone, so here we are with the world's biggest Twinkie, AKA pound cake cream roll thing. So, you don't know how hard it has been to fit this in the frame, but essentially, it's cut into four pieces, four foot long pieces, 48 inches long, four feet. Let's get started. It's not very nice out here right now, but let's eat. I don't care, look at this thing. I put some cuts in it to make it a little easier to eat. That way, hopefully it won't be quite as messy, otherwise I'm just gonna be mashing it in my face, and now that I have facial hair and a beard, I'd just be covered in cake and cream, which would not be a very good look. I'm gonna set a timer here. Okay, timer is set. All right, I'll get my music going. Camera's rolling. Here we go, everybody. Wish me luck. I have some waters here, a little bit of a Diet Coke. I have a couple water bottles here. I just have them laying down because the table's kind of kind of uh, tip, uh, tipsy and it's windy. 10, 9, 8, 7. I really can't see it. 5, 4, one, let's get started. I don't know, the, the timer will be rough estimate. Anyway, all right, let's go. I cut it. Hard getting run out. That's what she said.
I'll cut this one. Pause my music now. I can hear myself, see myself. That was a lot of, you know, Twinkie, aka Greenfield pound, pound cake. Damn, that was sweet. Ugh, it was like it tasted good at the start. Near the end of it, I was really getting sick of that that flavor. I do have a napkin in my pocket, which I'm gonna use because I'm sure I have food all over my face. I mean, I have a little bit of cream on my hand, but it actually wasn't quite as bad as I thought. I can't really see my face. So unless my face is really, really, really messy, it wasn't quite as bad as I thought. Probably like eight and a half minutes. Not happy with that still. Now, I have some other little food items. You wanna eat? You can join me. What does my face look like? Up that bap. Up that bap. All right. I tell you what though, damn, that was sweet. Ugh, I mean, yeah, I know what I was eating. But it was, ugh, yeah, by the end of it, kind of sick of it. I'm glad I kept that knife there. I had to cut those pieces up. That first one you saw, I left it thick. And uh, it was just hard to, like, it was, a, it was basically impossible to eat. I was like, Trying to mishmash, shout, shove it in my face. And then, like I said, I didn't want to get too, too, too messy. All right, where were we? Macaroni salad. Which is probably not even a good macaroni salad. Again, I got it for a dollar. And then some uh, nutter butter chocolate cookies. So this is one pound, 454 grams. Purchased for the price of one dollar because I didn't want to go through the process of making macaroni salad. So. I know, like I said, this may not even be good, but we'll try it. I heard so. It's not something like, you know, I would often, I'd never buy it. It's it's something I'd eat like, like if I go to a buffet and there's some macaroni salad, I'll usually have a little bit. Like a pasta salad. But it's not something I ever buy or make. That's all right. It's one of those things where you know, I saw somebody eating it and I was like, I haven't had that in a while. It's not horrible, but it's not the best macaroni salad or pasta salad I've ever had. I never really grew up with, you know, macaroni or pasta salads. Where I kind of started eating them is actually at the casino buffets I go to, because they have some pasta salads on the, uh, on like the salad bar line, like where they have all their mixed salads. So 
and start eating some there. And my face kind of led me to pass this out. I'm going to buffet is a lot better. I think it's actually a make it. This is rich though. What's the, uh, where is the nutrition on it? So for 115 grams, it's 170 calories and nine grams of fat. So it'd almost be four servings. So in this little container, like, Approximately 650 calories. That's messed up. Including 80 grams of carbs. Almost 40 grams of fat. That would mean we're like almost at 17 under carbohydrates right now. Whew. I think, I hope the nutter butters are better. This is only okay. There's a lot of dressing on it though. I'll tell you that much. Oh. Oh. Uh, that sugar, something's hitting me, I'll tell you that much. Whew. For the record. I do also have other clothes, like, I know I've been wearing a sweater like this, you know, there's a different shirt. I know I've been wearing a sweater like this in my videos, but it's only because these are like, called like my, uh, like a gym or an eating hoodie. It was too cold outside not to wear one. I'm not gonna wear good clothes, you get covered in quickie. I'm gonna need some more water, I'll tell you that much, I'm thirsty. All right, chocolate and or technically fudge. Covered nutter butters. So there's 12 in here. I don't know if I said this or not, but I've only ever had a nutter butter once in my life. And I recall it being very good. But again, it's not something that you know I grew up with in Canada or have had it many times at all. Oh, I smell like well, actually, it, well, I mean, I smell a little bit of the peanut butter, but it smells like this fudge coating. You know what the smell of that fudge coating smells like? Then you know what that is. So this is what it looks like. You know what? Well, that's just because I just ate so much cake. These don't really taste like peanut butter. I don't even understand how that can be. Like, do they forget? It doesn't really even smell like that. Forget about peanut butter in this batch of nutter butter. It doesn't even smell like peanut butter. That's super weird. Is there like a call if your product is obviously messed up and doesn't have peanut butter in it? Number? I would expect this to be delicious because nutter butters taste like peanut butter. And if you've ever had the nutter butter cereal, it was absolutely delicious. This doesn't taste like peanut butter. I'm very confused. All it tastes like is basically that fudge coating. And then you can taste like, it's, it seems like a fudge coated unflavored cookie. That's what I would describe it as. That's messed up. I'm very disappointed. Regular nut butters or fudge slash chocolate covered Oreos would have been way better. Like it says right here, fudge covered peanut butter sandwich cookies. They lie. There is no peanut butter in this. Disappointed. Disappointed! That's crazy. 
I literally feel like I should call them and complain and be like, yo, Mr. Christie, you don't make good cookies. Your nut butters don't even have peanut butter in them. What the hell's wrong with you? That's so weird. They actually don't even taste good. I just don't understand how there's no peanut butter. This should actually be not tur butter. This is a notter butter. Notter peanut butter. Well, these were horrible. Would not recommend. I swear there is no peanut butter in that. Not one little bit. It's not even like, hmm, it tastes a little bit of peanut butter. Or, hmm, it smells like peanut butter. There is no peanut butter in that. It's just a fudge covered, unflavored cookie. Mr. Christie, you don't make good cookies. You very much disappointed me. <clears throat> With that, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Even the macaroni salad, which I said was very mediocre, is better than that. So, of course, everybody, till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Don't do what I do. And uh, hope you're always safe at home. So, yeah, till next time. Just be safe. Start when my timer goes to 45. Or wait, that'd be now. I'll start when it goes to uh, 50. All right. Or wait. No, I won't. I'll start right now. All right.